Hey, welcome to another Albany Brewcrafters Just For Fun video. We have our uh, Ryan and Alex from the last video. We got something really special tonight. I think this is a world's first, actually. We're going to do a blind taste test between Juan the Elder and Hetty Topper, like the two most highly acclaimed, sought-after double IPAs right now in the whole world, or at least in the United States. So, as you can see, we have all these different cups and glasses on the table. Um, what we're going to do is, we're going to go in my room, we have a person off camera who's going to pour um, the beer. And we're going to do one at a time, and as you can see, we have a third cup, because the person, who, our pour, our steward, brought a wild card beer that we don't know what the identity is. Um, it's just, all we know is it's in a general style, I hope. I don't think she brought a stout or something. Um, so we'll do one at a time, and then uh, we'll come, you know, at the end we'll wrap up and we'll try to identify if we can tell which one is which and also which one uh, we like the best. I've had both of these beers, obviously. Have you guys had either of these? I've had them both. I've had them both. I haven't had Hetty Topper since the brewery actually was a brew pub, but I had plenty for other reason. A little bit of uh, kind of cat pee kind of smell on it? I, I, a hint, like that sort of sweat sock, just a hint of it. I get really dominant grapefruit hops, though. Yeah, definite citrus. What do you think? I think grapefruit like orange, straight. I think I'm pouring out some Simcoe, but I think they all have Simcoe in it, don't they? Yeah. Well, we can't judge on appearance, but there's you a little bit You can't see a white head. Yeah, Very there's white, a... white, not yellow at all. White kind of frothy head, little... Should we give it a taste now? I think so. Cheers. Mm. It tastes more citrusy than it smells. I, I think it smells more citrusy than it tastes, and <laughs> I get much more of that sort of organic, you know, whatever it is, sweat sock, cat pee, like you said, whatever that is, I get a lot of that. I'm so glad I did not get have your taste buds because <laughs> I have never had anything taste like sock or candy. I I compare it more to peanut like Pinot Gris. If you smell or taste like a really honest style Pinot Gris, I always get like that sort of organic like a white off. wine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there's definite um, orange in here. Kinda like Amarillo type hops. I like the green. Yeah. Fruit. Yeah. Definite not um, ridiculously bitter. No, it's pretty easy drinking. The, the alcohol comes through more than the hops, I think, especially yeah. in the finish. Like, I get that numbing sensation on the palate. It must be fairly low ABV because it's not... Well, I mean, I've had Hetty and Plenty, and I think they're both about 8%. And they're not boozy beers at all. Yeah, so. I would I would put this in that range. I think the hop character really covers it well. Yeah. But I bet it's I bet this beer is in the eight seven and a half to eight and a half range. Probably more like eight eight and a half. Seven would be hard to be called a double. Yeah. Well, we don't know what the mystery beer was. Yeah. It may not be a double IPA. Yeah. Well, mystery might be a single. No, I thought you said it was in the style, so yeah. it would be a double. It's in the general style. No. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the person who bought the beer just doesn't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> Surprise, it's a stout. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I like it, yeah, it's good. It's good, I, I like it, but I don't... I can think of ten IPAs that look better than this. Yeah. Whatever it is. I finished my sample. Alright, sample B in the coffee mugs. What kind of aroma are you pulling off this? Can't be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way, way stronger than the last one. Yeah. Still orangey, similar profile. Whoa. Way different. Yeah, way different. Much, much thicker body. Yeah. Better mouthfeel. More carbonated. More um, aggressively bitter. It's pretty yeah, but not though. throughout. That's yeah. There's it's higher IBU, but you don't get that like palate wrecking. Yeah, mouthfeel actually seems a little thin on it compared to the last one. 
just in general. Which I'm surprised because I know two of these beers. Well, they're not like those. I've had those two beers, and they're not like this syrupy type right. IPAs, like uh, say like Maharaja or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I've always found it's more crispy. Yeah, type. I've always found Pliny fairly thin on the mouthfeel of of the Pliny I've had, and then the clones I've had of it. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, this one, I'm surprised, like, it's, I don't know, it just seems thin. I, I like it. Find, I don't find yeah, it. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah, I disagree. I think it's much, much beefier of a mouthfeel than the pro, than But then that, that also could be... I think it's the head is, is doing that, is kind of giving it, like, a bit of a creamy... And the glassware is not helping. You know, we're not doing proper glassware, and that does affect... Yeah. How you take it I think out. it's the bitterness though that's adding to yeah. the mouth. Here, yeah, yeah. Like there's a back end to it. Salt in your tongue. It's you know relatively clean aftertaste. It's not super drying or anything. Yeah, but the bitterness is lasting. It's assertive in the aftertaste. I'm like really trying to savor all the every last drop on this. So you don't care for this one. No, I like it. I'm just trying to, you know, since we only had about two or three ounces a pour, but we'll get more at the end, I guess. This one, I think this has the strongest aroma out of the yep. three. Although it's also the greatest not, reservoir of air of the three cups we've had. It's not the most pleasant aroma, though. Maybe no, it's, it's a little... I mean, it's skunky. Citrus. Yeah, it's it's kind of skunky. I don't get skunky. I don't get skunky at all. I get almost like a herbal type of aroma. Yeah, yeah. I get a little bit of the cat pee. I get a lot of citrus. I think you had a herb. Mm. Wow. That is the strongest flavored one for sure. Yeah, the... Uh, the so-called dirty uh, smell, or whatever that was in the aroma, definitely translates to the palate. Yeah. It's um. It's almost like your your summit hops with the garlic and the onion. Yeah, there. there's a there's definitely an herbal, you know, vegetal quality to it, but it's not vegetal like uh, you usually get. Yeah. Uh, I don't find did, uh, anything like this compared to the, the Summit apps they used. Ryan did an Oscar Blues Governor clone. It's like all, it's, a, it's all Summit Hop, right? And yeah. It gets a lot of garlic and onion type flavors, but also a lot of citrus on it. Did you taste any garlic? I did not. I didn't actually taste oh, anything. Okay. Do you want it? Huh? Do you no, want you're talking about no, no, the I'm talking to the homebrew. Oh, the homebrew. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, how would you compare the bitterness to the last two? I think this one's by far the most bitter. You think? Yeah. I thought the last one was more bitter. And it's slightly boozy, too. Yeah, definite alcohol content. That might be covering the bitterness for me. Mm. I think B was probably the most bitter for me. This would probably be tied with A or the least. I'm definitely going to have to do them all side by side. Because of, like, the short-term memory of, like, a gerbil or something. Goldfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goldfish. I think this is the most different of the three. The, yeah. The, the most unexpected flavors. Agreed. Which, maybe this is the wild card beer. All right. Final guesses. I'm going to say this is Pliny, this is Heady, and this is the wild card, and I like this one the best. I guess I'd go with your order too. I'm not sure which, what the wild card is, I like be the best. I also like to be the best. I think that's Hetty, that's Pliny, that's the mystery one. Ryan and I are both saying Pliny, Hetty, wild card, and Alex is saying Hetty, Pliny, wild card. That's right. So C, we all said, was the mystery one. You want to reveal now? Here's what I can tell you, is you are all wrong. Oh! <laughs> And the big reveal is the coffee cup is the wild card. That's oh. the one that everybody liked the best. Uh. 
And the wild card beer is Ballast Point Scoban IPA. A nice fresh bottle. Wow. <laughs> this has a drink by date of 4 2013 and had just come in at the beer store you right before I got there. <laughs> nice. Alright, so what was the other two? It's funny because I've not been impressed with Sculpin. I've had one in the past. I thought it was a solid IPA. But I've never had it that, like, a really good fresh Pliny one. the Elder was the Blue Cup. This one? I was right. So. Alex was correct. The Blue Cup, the very first one that you drank. I'm surprised you guys didn't get that. And Hetty Topper was the one with the oh, funny nose <laughs> in the Big Cups. Alright, wow. So nobody likes Nobody, nobody likes Hetty <laughs> No, that's not. Nobody. I, I liked it. I just liked the other two better. Right. Nobody but you know what? Preferred that's, it. Nobody preferred it. I think it's hard, though, also with the small pores and yeah. not small pour. having a flow over your mouth. Yeah. All the way. Small pour, big cup. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.